When we think of Indians, we picture a warrior with a spear or a bow and an arrow sitting on a horse. But the Indians did not always have horses. In the 1600s, there were a lot of Spanish missions and settlers in New Mexico, just to the west of Texas. This is where the Pueblo and Navajo Indians lived. The Spanish in New Mexico used Indians as slaves and workers. These Indian slaves and workers learned about horses working on the Spanish ranches. In the year 1680, the Pueblo Indians revolted against the Spanish and drove the Spanish out of their land and back down into old Mexico. The Spanish were forced to leave so fast that they left behind many horses. The Pueblo Indians took these horses and used them. The Spanish did not come back until the year 1964. While the Spanish were gone, the Pueblo Indians raised large herds of horses. They began selling and trading them to other Indians such as the Kiowa and the Comanche. The Pueblo Indians also taught the other Indian tribes how to ride and raise horses. In a very short time, Plain Indians learned to be expert riders. Along with hunting, they learned to use the horses to make war and good on raids. They could go much farther than they ever could go on foot and arrive rested and able to fight. The tribes who learned how to use horses first and fast had a huge advantage over other tribes. They quickly pushed other tribes out of their former territories and expanded their territories. Tribes like the Comanche and the Cheyenne, who had horses and knew how to use them, first pushed other tribes like the Apache and the Wichita and the Tonkwa south and west of the plains. The Apache, who now live in New Mexico and Old Mexico, used to live up in the Texas Panhandle and north of Texas. Bands of Comanche warriors on horseback were powerful and feared by everyone. Next time you see a picture of an Indian on a horse, Stop and remember what Indian life must have been like before the horse.